It's time to relax, grab a drink, pull up a chair by the hearth, and have a seat in the Skald Circle to listen to the tale of The Haunted Mill, German folklore as told by Casimir. Before we begin our story, we wanted to remind you that we release new tales for free every week. Our shorter tales release on Wednesdays, and our longer chapter stories release on every other Saturday. Find out where you can hear them on our website at thescaldcircle.com. And be certain to subscribe to us on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Podbean, Spotify, or whatever your favorite podcast app is. That way, you'll never miss out on one of our enchanting tales from around the world. And this is the tale of the haunted mill from German folklore as told by Casimir. In a village, there was a mill. The miller could no longer get anyone to work for him, because several workers had died in the mill in a mysterious manner. One day, a mill hand came to the miller and asked about work. The miller said he desperately needed a helper, but he had to tell him that things were not exactly right in his mill. The mill hand was an outgoing fellow, and he asked the master to hire him, saying he would deal with the spook. The master agreed to this. The night the mill hand went into the mill, taking a sword with him. At the stroke of midnight, a wet cat crept through a hole in the mill and sat down next to the stove bench. After it had sat there a while, a second cat came, and a third one, and they took places next to the first cat. And then, a miracle. The more they warmed themselves, the larger they grew. Then the first cat said, Shall we? Shall we? The next one answered, Meow! And the third, Get him! Then all three, each with a powerful leap, jumped at the mill hand, hissing and spitting and with angry sparks spraying from their eyes. The mill hand did not stand idly by. With his sword, he cut the leg off the first cat, and began to cry pitifully. Then all three cats hurriedly slipped out the same hole through which they had entered. He picked up the leg, and it was a human hand with a gold ring on one finger. He wrapped it in a cloth. The next morning he took it to the master and told him of the adventure he had withstood. The latter was very pleased to hear this, for he hoped the spook would no longer be interested in returning. At breakfast, the master said to his mill hand, My wife is very ill. The mill hand wanted to see her, claiming that in some regards he knew just as much as a doctor. The miller led him to the room where his wife was lying. The mill worker said, Show me your right hand. The woman showed him her left hand. The mill worker said again, No, show me the right one. But she refused. The mill worker unwrapped the severed hand from the cloth and held it out. The woman began to shake like aspen leaves. Her face became distorted with groans and moans, and she confessed that she was a witch, and she had been the cat. She also named her two accomplices. Then she died a horrible death. Since then, Nothing unusual has happened at the mill. And that is the tale of The Haunted Mill from German Folklore. Thank you for listening to our story. If you enjoyed it, we recommend taking a look at our Patreon page, as noted in the description below. You can earn great rewards while also supporting us, to keep these stories alive for generations to come. Also, remember to subscribe to us on your podcast app, and leave us a five-star rating if you enjoyed this story. A special thank you to Kat for their support this month. Without your contribution, we wouldn't be able to continue these stories, and we truly appreciate it. Visit thescaldcircle.com to stay up to date with all of our current events, news, and much more. Not only that, but you can also visit our story archive of every tale we have ever told. It's sorted by origin and region for the convenience of your listening pleasure. Thank you for listening to our stories.